I mean, the other thing is probably to this, but I mean, the time really did just fly by, you know what I'm saying? It really go by fast, like all the cliche stuff that people be saying about school and college is, I mean, it's really true. Most of the cliche stuff people say is true, so I mean, it, just, it went by, but I mean, it's been, it's been crazy. It's been the greatest experience for me. It's been life changing, so I'm just blessed. What's the biggest way you think you've changed? I think I had to do a lot of growing up. Just, as a as a basketball player, as a person, um, coming to Georgetown, um, being around Coach Thompson, big coach, and all the other coaches, it makes you grow up. Um, it, it forces you to be reliable. Um, that's something that Coach always starts on, being reliable. So over the past four years, I just try to be the most reliable person I can be. Job isn't done. You guys got one game left to, to get second and just to wreck the regular season. I mean, big, big use in the NCAA, but how satisfying is it? Or I guess more to the point, how much, how much motivation was coming this year? What happened last year? If you didn't want that to repeat again? Um, I mean, that was kind of a senior now. Um, I want to go on top on, on a good note. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of stuff that went on last year um, that motivated me and put a spark under me to have a good year this year. So. We just trying. I think we're in a good position right now. Um, we just trying to finish strong and make a good run in the Big East tournament and then march. Talk about your your rap career. Your, you're developing into a rapper since you've been you've been on the hilltop. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, rapping. That's just something I always did since I was younger. Anyway, just freestyling and stuff like that. So that's just something I do for fun. But um, I mean. Push coming to shop. I mean, I, I got options. <laughs> it's, just, it's just something that's just fun for me. It's a hobby for me. Coach told us that the time was going to start tomorrow. What did you think about we got during that? Uh, that's, that's crazy. Like, uh, yesterday we were in practice and Coach had it down at the end. And he was telling us how he usually doesn't start seniors or he's not big on like starting seniors for senior day. And then he was like, except he's making an exception. And then he told Tyler he was starting. And then everybody just was like, it was crazy. Um, I'm happy for him. He, do, he definitely deserves it. Um, he's been a big help for the team, um, understanding his condition and all that. So it's just, I'm just happy for Tyler, like, one of my best friends. So. What, uh, what kind of things has he done over his career that's helped him I mean, because he, he hasn't played, he still, he cared more. Like, he, like he was playing like 30 minutes a game, you know, <laughs> on the bench, he's always into the game, he's always, he's always trying to help us, so he's a big part, he's like, he's like another coach on the team right now. As far as uh, tomorrow, keeping you guys getting seat call, what, what do you guys have to uh, focus on to close this out? Um, we just got to contain them, we got to do good defensively like we did last time when we, we played them um, at their home, at their home court. Um, so we just got to be together, just do what we do, play defense. Um, Move the ball on offense, play together, and have fun. Are you expecting a big cheering section from Philadelphia coming to come down? I got a lot of family coming out that's going to be here, so definitely. In terms of Darby Jones, one of the better you know, defenders in the East, how important is it to be down as a team tomorrow? That's a kind of um, it's really important. Last game, um, during a couple of different stretches, he was able to get a couple of offensive rebounds and affect the game. Um, I think he's a really good player. I really like his game. So we're going to have a, it's going to be a team effort um, just boxing them out and rebounding and containing them. So. I mean, he's another player on the perimeter shooting a three pointer, um, which can open a lot up for White, for our head and uh, Sterling. So I mean, Sterling certainly get back. So I think without seeing the um, it makes it easier for us to uh, hone in on um, to Sterling and Whitehead. How has Philadelphia West Philly shaped your approach on the court? As a, I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough place to grow up. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, growing up, I used to always play with the older guys when I was younger. So if you if you wasn't really built to play, you couldn't get on the court. So I had to find a way to get on the court. And, um, it just made me tougher. It gives me an edge and a grit to my game. So anything else for Jabril?